Hey guys, 3D Crypto here. Hope everyone's doing well. And guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about bankroll flow rewards and in more detail, the structure and the system of rewards distribution in bankroll flow version 1.2. So obviously, as we all know, from version 1 to version 1.2, there have been some changes to the reward structure. So your best resource is to go ahead and read the updated white paper. And if you go to section 16, the rewards section, it will basically let you know how the new setup for reward system works. Um, it will let you know how much banker you need to hold in order to unlock certain levels of team depth rewards. Um, it will let you know how the rewards are distributed, as well as what the rewards percentage is now, because obviously it has changed from uh, depending on where you are in the chain, how much you receive, but now it's a, a, a flat 10% all the way down. So guys, um, the bankroll flow version 1.2 rewards. So once you migrate over to flow version 1.2, you will be part of the new reward system. And it is a reward system that runs 15 levels deep with a flat 10% rewards going up the chain round by round in a, in a round robin style. So I've made a quick infographic for you guys to kind of better understand the system. So this is an example using five wallets. So these are five wallets. And for example, let's say wallet number five in the chain um, does an action. So in this case, it does a roll. What will happen is the wallet directly above it will be eligible for the 10% reward. So flow wallet number four in the chain will get 10% of that roll. And then let's say um, a few hours later, a few hours later, wallet number five again does a roll. This time, wallet number three will get the 10% reward because wallet number four has had its turn and next in line is wallet number three. And then obviously, if wallet number five was to do another action, doesn't matter when, it could be a day later, it could be an hour later, whenever it does it, let's say it does a claim this time. Let's say wallet number five does a claim, wallet number three has already has its reward, wallet number two would next be in line. In the round robin system, the next turn for a wallet to receive rewards would be wallet number two. And wallet number two would then go ahead and receive those rewards. And then let's say another example, wallet number five goes back to rolling. So it, it hasn't claimed, now it's gone back to a, a roll. Whatever the amount that wallet rolled, wallet number one was next in line to get those rewards. So wallet number one would get the 10% reward of whatever the claim or role is. And this, this is a system. It's very simple, very straightforward. Only one person in the chain going upwards will get a reward per action, turn by turn. So it will flow upwards. Every single wallet in the chain will get its chance to receive 10% of the action that was conducted by the wallet below it. So it, it goes on in a round robin. So it will go wallet number four, wallet number three, wallet number two, wallet number one, it restarts the system, wallet number four. And this is on every action. It's not a daily thing. It doesn't happen once a day. The, the next wallet up gets um, its turn. After every action, the next wallet up in the chain, the next eligible wallet up in the chain will get um, its turn and they will get the rewards from wallet number five. Um, each wallet can receive multiple awards. So th there might be other... Um, a wallet's further down the chain and obviously if it's your turn and both those wallets it's your turn then obviously you'll get the rewards from both those wallets but we're just using this scenario um one thing to bear in mind if a wallet is net negative it's not eligible for rewards it's not eligible for rewards in the up chain so what does that mean for the flow it basically means that when it's that wallet's turn that wallet will be skipped so for example wallet number five does an action it rolls Wallet number four has already received its rewards. Wallet number three will get skipped. And those 10% rewards for that action will go to wallet number two. And wallet number three will miss out. And this will keep happening in the round robin until wallet number three comes back to a positive net deposit. So bear that in mind. So if a wallet is net negative or if a wallet does not hold the appropriate amount 
of banker tokens in their wallet, they will not be eligible to receive rewards, but the rewards will not just disappear. The rewards will just go up to the next eligible wallet. So for example, in this scenario, wallet number two doesn't hold any banker. It's not eligible to receive rewards in the upchain. So it's gone down. You looked at wallet number two, says, nope, this wallet holds no banker and it will skip that wallet and go to wallet number one. And this will continue happening. It will go, it will just keep rotating between all the wallets and it will creep up the chain. And the first eligible wallet it finds whose turn it is, they will go ahead and get the rewards. So that's how the reward system works. So if someone mentions a round robin or a turn by turn system, that's all that means. All it means is you go up the chain wallet by wallet. Now, there was another aspect to this that's called the team wallet. So if you have more than five directs, your wallet automatically becomes eligible to be a mandatory team wallet. What does that mean? That means that team wallet no longer receives 10% in rewards. That wallet, the, 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 the person that gets the rewards, the wallet that gets the rewards will now only receive 7% 0.5% in rewards. So let's say wallet number five hits wallet number four. When it hits wallet number two, the rewards going upwards are only 7.5% because it's now hit a team wallet. So it's a hit a team wallet. Wallet number two has received 7.5% of the action that wallet number five done. But being a team wallet, now something very interesting happens. A cashback aspect now comes into play. So wallet number two gets 7.5%. But automatically, wallet number two then gives back wallet number five 2.5% in cashback directly paid into their flow deposit. So it's basically this two transactions happening at the same time. Wallet number five will push up the 7.5% reward and wallet number two will push down 2.5% cashback back to wallet number five. And this all happens automatically and all the deposits, all the cashbacks and rewards are paid directly to your flow deposit account. So you don't have to do anything. All you'll see is your numbers increasing, your flow deposit number increasing. And then obviously this whole system continues when it hits a team wallet, this action happens. But then let's say the next time, um, the next wallet that's eligible is not a team wallet, then everything goes back to normal. It'll be a 10% reward and the, the wallet which performed the action, the role or the claim, they will only get a 2.5% cashback when it hits a team wallet. So if you're not a team wallet, you don't give 2.5% back and you only get 7.5% in rewards. Guys, another thing um, to take bear into mind, the rewards you see here are now a cumulative figure. The first part of it is your directs. So that number reflects on your directs. Directs meaning the rewards you have received from people you have directly invited or directly referred into bankroll flow. So that first number reflects that. And it's just a cumulative lifetime total of all rewards collated. The second number are rewards from your indirects. So these are rewards from people that you have referred and they referred further down. And that, again, is just a cumulative um, description, a cumulative, cumulative total of rewards collected over time because the rewards are deposited into your flow deposit account automatically on every action. So it's not like at the end of the day, it goes back to your, uh, your deposits. No, automatically it gets added to your deposits and the rewards will never zero out. They will just keep increasing. Every time you get rewards, it's just a representation of how much this account has accumulated over its lifetime. Another thing to mention is holding banker for certain levels. So obviously, if you want to earn rewards from just your directs, from just your directs for one level down, you need to hold 50 banker tokens in your wallet, not in, in stack or anywhere else in your wallet. If you want to earn referral rewards, from your secondary um, level or your all the way down to level. So let's say you want to earn from level five. For level five, that's four wallets down. You will need to have enough to unlock level four, which in this case is 180 banker. 
180 banker in your wallet will unlock those rewards. This goes all the way down to 15 levels where to get the maximum amount of rewards you need to hold in your wallet, you need to hold 15,000 banker tokens. So guys, the two main questions is rewards will not zero out in your UI. That is just a representation of rewards collected over the lifetime. Rewards are directly deposited to your flow deposit in real time. So every time someone below you or someone in the chain does an action, 10% or 7.5% of that, depending if you're a team wallet or not, will directly go ahead and be added to your flow deposit amount, dependent on you being net positive and dependent on you having enough banker in your wallet to be eligible for that level's rewards. So guys, please do go ahead and read updated bankroll white paper i will leave the link down below but it's very simple guys in terms of rewards the structure now is it is a round robin system where every wallet in the up chain will be eligible to receive rewards 10 by 10 of every action so again some people might roll a thousand banker x when you roll a thousand banker x the wallet that's eligible for it will get 10 percent but the next day that same um wallet might not roll for like 10 days and then it builds up to 10,000 banker x that they roll but then the next wallet up will get 10 percent off that 10,000. so again luck does play quite a bit of it because when it's your turn it all depends on the wallets below what they are doing what they are doing for you to receive 10% on. Guys, I hope that makes sense. Um, I know a lot of people did ask about the rewards section and why the rewards weren't zeroing out. So obviously now you know they get added to your deposit in real time, your flow deposit in real time. And that figure that you see in the rewards section is literally just a representation of the lifetime rewards accumulated by your directs and indirects by your from your directs and indirects um, over over a lifetime so they'll it'll be good to see maybe in, in a month's time two months time how much uh, as your team grows you will see those reward numbers grow and you will see your flow deposit amount also grow um in line with that so guys i hope this makes sense a lot of people did ask for the reward structure to be explained so i hope now it does make a lot more sense with the graphical representation um if you uh, benefited or appreciate the video please do hit that thumbs up button please do subscribe to the channel and please do hit that bell icon um, to be made aware of my latest content. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, the best resource regarding bankroll, bankroll flow is to head on over to the bankroll telegram. I will leave the link down below for the bankroll telegram chat. If you've got any questions or comments for me personally regarding crypto, bankroll or anything in general, please do leave them down below or you can contact me via email or on my Telegram or any of my social medias. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are liking Bankroll Flow version 1.2. I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing Banker X price increase. Now supply has been drastically um, kind of decreased with this new reward structure system. So with this um, reward restructuring, and the limited supply of Banker X in the open market, we should start seeing the Banker X price increasing. So guys, um, as always, I always say kind of work hard for your crypto, make that crypto work hard for you. If you haven't already migrated over to version 1.2, please check out my previous videos and they will explain the whole process regarding how to migrate wallets and also how to merge wallets um, in version 1.2 of flow. So guys, until my next videos, take care.